ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the most important retrograde season of mercury this year 2nd of april it has already started and it's going on till 25th okay so roughly till 26th you will be able to experience this mercury's retrogression energy and as you can see here mercury is retrograde in the sign of aries and then he will enter pisces again and then again from pisces he will enter aries back and stay in aries till end of may i guess okay so very 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 crucial transit uh, why do i say crucial because this transit is happening in between so many other events for example on 6th saturn is transiting uh, to purva bhadrapada nakshatra within aquarius and then on 8th there is the solar eclipse in the sign of pisces here where there is venus there is sun there is rahu and of course moon will be joining there and that's when the eclipse is there and then on 17th jupiter will be entering first pada of kritika nakshatra okay 17th april <coughs> so therefore uh, this mercury retrograde um, will be in between many 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 crucial events now what does this mean uh, this in short in summary means that uh, the transits which are happening like uh, including the eclipse will be a bit more dramatic and unpredictable compared to uh, normal eclipses okay now i have already predicted that uh, for india there could be uh, some law and order situation from uh, 13th of april onwards uh, till end of june or at least till 25th of june uh, but even worldwide you know there could be some um, unexpected things you know not like uh, bomb attacks or something but yeah there could be things where you know like recently we saw in us you know that ship uh, collided and the whole bridge broke down so you 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 could have felt that you know there's something or the other some madness is going on so you can expect more of craziness now we know what happens when mercury goes retrograde that is universal and that does not change for example uh, irrespective of any transit uh, it does not change which means uh irrespective of which zodiac sign mercury is retrograde in or which planet it is conjunct with there are some default things which will always happen for example uh, old friends will come back you will meet old friends and then uh, you might yeah you might have to make new contracts you know or whatever you do now later on you may kind of uh, suffer for that so be careful in signing contracts you know electronic equipments could go for a ride so that is something very typical standard mercury retrograde but then every year mercury goes retrograde and what's the difference you know you could say oh the sign may be different but sometimes the sign is also same so now here where mercury is retrograde so if you see currently mercury is retrograde you can see here this is from drikpanchang.com and this reverse arrow is there so it means it's retrograde uh, but it's retrograde where it's retrograde in the nakshatra of ashwini okay very 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 important nakshatra ashwini is the first nakshatra and a very important nakshatra it's a very crucial nakshatra because <coughs> ashwini represents uh the soul coming into the body okay and that is why the the body is actually ruled by mars so if you see originally uh, the first house if you see aries okay that's mars which is very interesting because mars is the one which rules fire okay so what happens in your life when you say when you don't feel like doing anything you know you say ah there's no fire inside him her or me so this is very interesting so this means any planet when it enters ashwini fire comes okay now what is fire fire is the desire to do something basically 
so depending on the houses which mercury rules in the chart you may get the desire to do certain things so for example if you see this is capricorn lagna and mercury is the lord of the ninth house and the sixth house because three is gemini six is virgo and it is falling this is the ninth house uh, sixth house and this is the ninth house so <coughs> something related to your daily work which is sixth house job and all this and something to do with higher education knowledge long distance travel and all this entered aries okay uh, so there could have been new beginnings but now it is going retrograde what does this mean so every market retrograde as i said will bring some inevitable similarities but you have to check from the ascendant so depending on your ascendant whichever houses mercury rules in your chart those things will be affected more now for example everybody will face mercury retrograde but a capricorn ascendant will primarily face mercury retrograde in context of these two houses so for example uh, for this um, capricorn ascendant sixth house the person might have some issues in their job so they might sign a contract and they may regret later or they may resign and they may regret later okay so something related to the job can happen what is ninth house ninth house is uh, you might plan some travel and then you may regret later why did i do it or you may cancel some travel and you may regret later why did i do it okay so similarly if mercury is your 10th lord so something to do with name fame status is um you, you could be embarrassed later on okay or if mercury is the lord of your first house you are gemini or your virgo lagna so then uh, there could be something related to your health which you might do so for example you might purchase some something uh related to your health okay and then later on you may regret why the hell did i do it so therefore this is one thing so generic mercury retrograde then you see from the ascendant number two and then number 3 you have to see the nakshatra and the sign okay so for example here uh, mercury is in the sign of aries so as i said new beginnings could be there but then it will enter revati so when it enter revati which is in pisces so mercury will go from here to there okay so when from aries ideally it should go to bharani but it enters revati okay now what does this mean this means you started something but now because things are not going your way or it seems like it is not going to or it may not go your way so now you are leaving it to the to god and to the universe okay so that's what revati nakshatra is to let go of things okay to have the freedom to uh, revati is the freedom that you give somebody to not love you back okay so for example if you love somebody but you force that person to love you then the, then you cannot say that you love the person but if you love somebody you will give them the option to not love you back and here this flavor could come related to the 6th and the 9th houses for a capricorn ascendant so therefore you have to be very specific when you make a prediction for somebody now the next thing is or even before this you need to check your dashas the dashas will tell you so for example if there is a capricorn ascendant and he is running mercury mahadasha or or let's leave mercury for the moment let's take a uh, he is running guru mahadasha okay and let's assume that this is exactly a person's birth chart okay so this is the transit chart for now when i'm making the video but let's assume this is somebody's birth chart so what happens if there is jupiter mahadasha for this particular uh, person so now here you see what's going on jupiter for capricorn is the third lord and the 12th lord so typically he rules all communication and he rules long distance short distance any kind of travel basically but both the houses are house of travel so now this lord of travel and documents and communication is coming to the fourth house which means that is there could be requirement of you know some signing of documents related to the house 
or <clears throat> there could be a requirement of learning certain new things because fourth house is also the house of learning but by going into a foreign land because the 12th lord coming to the fourth house which means foreign land is coming to your house of knowledge it's something like that okay now within that you may have problems because mercury is conjunct and in transit also as i said if you assume this is the birth chart so in transit also now mercury is here so now it could happen that the person has gone to foreign lands and there are some problems related to his or her house or for education you know so maybe the per person has gone for doing masters or because the sixth lord mercury is conjunct so it could also be related to a job in a foreign land okay so therefore this is how you will be able to understand what it will do for me in this year otherwise every year the same thing may repeat or every quarter every three four months the same mercury retrograde may repeat okay so now for example here for this person uh, for capricorn lagna you might meet a co-worker ex-co-worker okay uh, x means not in terms of relationships but uh, you know you were in a previous company or friend you meet that person or somebody from your college or your higher education because ninth lot so no, so that is how you will know so if imagine mercury was the second lord so for example if you are a taurus lagna or <clears throat> you are a leo lagna then mercury is your second lord so then you may meet some body from your family okay because mercury is your second lord of family so some old relative you may meet so this is how you will know how is every mercury retrograde different and all, all, always on the top cherry on the top is the dasha you have to add the dasha so check the nakshatra house lordships and the dasha and other conjunctions okay so that will tell you how every mercury retrograde is different okay Thank you so much for your patience. If you are new then please like, comment, share and subscribe and for consultations you can visit my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Thank you.